Hi everyone, I'm Amanda, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Cortex AI to fine-tune LLMs to run cost-effective natural language processing and text analytics at scale. Using fine-tuned models, organizations can make smaller models really good at specific tasks to deliver results with the accuracy of larger models at just a fraction of the cost. Let's try this for a service tickets categorization use case. The usual process goes something like this. Customers write to our customer support team. Our team manually reviews, categorizes, and takes action on those tickets. This can take days, and it prevents us from responding quickly. It's slow, it's frustrating, and we want to do something to move even faster. So let's take a look at those support tickets using a Snowflake notebook. Looking at the data, we can see that requests often cover multiple product lines with text lakes and formats varying. That makes it challenging to quickly identify the issue. So rather than trying to write complex rules engine or asking our teams to manually categorize these tickets, we can use LLMs, which are designed to handle complex language tasks like this. Using the Snowflake Cortex Complete function, I can use top tier LLMs to run advanced language processing tasks against rows in a table without any complex orchestrations. Now, before I get to the LLM, I'm first gonna make a prompt that will include guidance on the categories defined by our business teams for the LLMs to choose from. Now, to automate the categorization process, let's try using Mistral Large, one of the most capable LLMs in the industry. All right, it's really that simple. The magic of Cortex is how fast I can run complex language tasks, such as automating the tagging of categories to drive operational efficiencies without having to set up any external services or manage any infrastructure. And now I've got a proof of concept working in just a few lines of code but as I think about production, I need to consider other factors, like the fact that we will need to run this job on millions of records. An advanced general purpose LLM is not ideal for this as it could really drive up our costs. And I know my boss won't be happy about that. So to address these costs, I could try running the same task using another model from Mistral. This time, let's use our 7B model, which is smaller in size and cost. All right, let's compare those two LLMs. Looking at this table, which compares the output of the two models, we can see that the smaller model isn't quite as good. The larger and more capable model is better at following instructions and adding consistent outputs, which is ideal to drive further automation from these results. But never fear. Since this is such a specialized task, I can fine tune or teach the smaller model to get very good at doing this task. This way I get the cost benefits of a smaller model and the accuracy of the larger model. I can actually use the larger LLM to prepare the data set, which again, will save a lot of time rather than doing manual annotations. And then similar to other model training, I need to split the data into training and validation, which I can easily do with one of the functions available in Snowflake ML. All right, now that that's done, we'll split it for the training and evaluation. Okay, once that is ready, I'm gonna jump over and I'm gonna use the Snowflake AI and ML Studio. This is a no-code interface that streamlines the LLM customization and AI app development. Here, I can use a tool for creating a custom LLM. Once inside Studio, all I need to do is first select where I want it to go. and give it a quick name. We'll say my new model. All right, now all I need to do is select the table I wanna use for training. Here we go. Then, I need to select the right input and output columns that Cortex would use for fine tuning. So for the prompt column, we'll select prompt. And for the completion column, we'll select response. Finally, I just need to select the validation data. And then we start training. Once again, you've seen that in just a few quick steps, I've kicked off the fine tuning process. 
Okay, so for this size of data, it can take up to 30 minutes. So go grab a coffee and then we'll get back to our notebook. Just kidding, I went ahead and fine tuned the model in advance. So now we can go and with the one that I fine tuned, it's just as easy as using any other LLM. I just find the model name, I put it in here, and then I'm gonna use my complete function. And look at that. The smaller model is now able to generate answers that are accurate and consistent at about one-tenth of the cost. Now, since it's so easy to run LLMs and batch operations against our data, there are many, many more automations our team could do. Looking at the data, we can see that there are a lot of roaming fees. So let's generate some automated responses for this category. The responses not only will try to address the problem, but also promote our new international travel plan, which can help customers never have to worry about cell phone usage abroad, which as a frequent traveler myself, I would personally find very useful. So to do this, we're gonna write a tiny little Streamlit app in line. And this is gonna make it easier for us to iterate on the prompt. We'll put a prompt in here. We'll select the category for roaming fees. And let's try another LLM like Snowflake Arctic to generate a tailored response based on the user's requested communication channel and whether it's email or text. All right, so pushing the button and here we go. With that, we've created personalized messages for our customers. Now, if we had a little more time today, we could show making even more automations, like writing a function to send those messages to our customers, but we'll have to save that for next time. As you've just seen, with Snowflake Cortex, I have flexibility to choose a pre-trained state-of-the-art model or customize my own to best align to my task and cost goals. Snowflake has multiple models and continues to add more to meet all your needs, including Arctic, Llama 3, Mistral, and Reka. With any of those options, my data stays secure and custom models are only made available to the users to which I grant access. So if you haven't already, try out Snowflake Cortex in a Snowflake notebook today. Thank you.